Oh, there was that. There he is. There he is. Good deal. I've caught a trout on my brown power bait, it would seem. Okay, folks. Welcome to Fishing for Real. Today I'm out at this uh, Stones River here where they've stocked it with trout. I've got a float, then a sinker, and a treble hook. I've got this uh, Berkeley power bait. It's a garlic scent. <laughs> I got the wrong lid on there, but it's a brown with some flakes in it. I've got some black mixed in. But my thinking is these trout are fed trout chow at the hatchery, which is a round brown ball of bait that floats. I caught a trout here, examined its stomach, and it had about a half a dozen brown round snails in it so it was feeding on those brown round snails because i think they look like the food the trout have been fed in the hatchery so i figured i might as well try to replicate that out here myself so i got this uh, brown power bait it's got a little sparkle to it it's a little bit bigger than a uh, trout chow pellet but it's still looks a lot like it and it's close to the size of those snails so i'm going to throw it out here in the current let it drift down a bit see if i can get any hits on that it floats so my sinker is about a foot and a foot and a half below the float the bait itself will float up and kind of probably be more downstream of the float I'll just watch that drift down. Maybe a trout will come up and hit it. All right, folks, I'm back over here at uh, the old mill in Muffersboro, mill stream, part of the uh, Stones River. They stock it with trout. I've caught some here recently. Let's try it again. There was that. There he is. There he is. Good deal. I've caught a trout on my brown power bait, it would seem. Come, come on in here, fella. All right. All right, all right. Oh, we're still now. We'll get you loose. Yeah. Okay, guy. Uh. 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 There we go. There's a pretty, pretty rainbow trout. Caught on the brown power bait. Bouncing along the bottom took the brown power bait. I'm very pleased with that. Sweet. <sighs> Some brown power bait. Bounced along the bottom. Got me a trout. Like I said, it looks a lot like the uh, trout chow they feed them in the nurseries or in the hatcheries. Put it on there, nice round ball of power bait. Of course, that's just one, one trout. Doesn't make a, a trend, but it is a start. See if I can do that again.
Ooh, there was a hit. Doggone it, boy. There was another hit. Oh, boy. Kind of right down there. It's gone. Something hit it and I didn't see it. I don't know. Roll it into a nice little round ball. Down the stream, get me a fish. I don't know if you can see the rod tip bending and releasing as a rig bounces downstream it tightens up and then releases as it bounces a trout when a trout hits it it's a much sharper hit than a tug even you might say instead of a, a tug it's a twitch a real quick twitch on the rod tip And you can feel it. There's one. I, oh, man, he got off. Con found it. Man, that was a big hit right there. That was a big hit. All right. They're out there. We'll get them. It's interesting. See, there's the bait right there. Just a brown ball of dough that has an anise scent to it. Kind of licorice. <laughs> All these bright, flashy eggs everybody buys to go trout fishing. People buy all these bright, flashy power eggs, and I use them too. But here I'm getting bites on a Old brown piece of power bait looks like a maybe like a snail or like the uh, trout chow these guys were fed when they were being raised. The downside to this dough is it's not very durable, you know go through a lot of it in a river situation in a lake or someplace with a much slower current than this it would probably be a lot better last longer if it's just sitting there on the bottom it'd probably be more durable <coughs> But in this current that's being tossed and tumbled over rocks and stuff, more easily gets knocked off the hook. Not a lot of trout to be caught, it seems like. I feel like I did prove my point that uh, you can catch these guys on a brown 
dough bait just because it simulates what they're fed in the hatcheries and some of the naturally occurring snails out here.